In this video we're making a simple wire loop. This one has the wire wrapped around a bunch of times to look like a bead in the centre. For this design we use about 10 inches of 20 gauge dead soft silver wire. Now we start by measuring in about 1 inch from the right hand side. Grabbing it on that 1 inch mark with my pliers and then pushing back to make a 45 degree bend in the wire. Now I have a little mark on my round nose pliers about halfway along the tip so that I can keep all my loops the same size. So I'm just grabbing my wire just above the bend there, holding it on that mark on my pliers and then bringing this tail right around and over the other wire to form a loop on the end. Now I rotate that loop towards me a little bit just so it sits right over the centre of the wire. Now we can come in with some pliers and hold our little loop on the end and we're going to bring this little tail around the other wire. Bringing it around a couple of times nice and tight and tidy. Keeping the loops nice and close to each other to make a nice secure connection. I normally do about two loops around and then cut this tail off nice and short and crimp it in tight so there's no sharp edges. Now instead of using a bead on this one we're going to just wrap our wire around sort of in a bead shape to look like a spiral of wire. So we need to measure out a little space in the middle here where the bead would be. You don't want it too big, so I usually measure out about five millimeters from those wires you wrapped around. And you wanna hold this loop on the left hand side straight up and down. And then grabbing it on that five millimeter mark with your pliers there, then we can push that wire back and form another 45 degree bend in our wire. Now with our round nose pliers, we can grab it just above the bend there, holding it onto that mark halfway along our pliers. And then bringing this tail right around the round nose pliers and across the other wire. Rotating that loop towards me just a little bit and then bringing this tail around that wire in between the two loops. Now you should have two loops that look quite even, one on each end. Now we're going to start wrapping this wire around the middle to start forming a spiral or wire bead there. So I start on the first layer, wrapping it around, trying to make it look nice and even. And then back the other way as well, just building that wire upwards to make it look nice and tidy and like a little wire bead. It's up to you how big or flat or round or tight you want that little spiral wire to be. But once you're happy with it, you want to finish it up so that your wire finishes at one end or the other. So you want to bring it in really nice and close to the base of one of the loops. Bringing it in really nice and tight and then cut it short so I can bend a little piece right on the end here and crimp it onto the base of that loop there making sure it's nice and tight and there's no sharp edges. So there's your simple wire loop with a wire bead only.